This is the CFR training for general changes in OASIS notables. Executive Order 38, EO 38, went live July 1st, 2014. Providers are directed to visit the EO 38 website for more information. The web address is noted below. Providers should note that the methodology used to calculate the agency administration allocation for EO38 is different than the methodology used to calculate the CFR ratio value. EO38 methodology must be used to determine the EO38 compliance. Top 10 internal controls to prevent and detect fraud as reported on the following website. 1. Use a system of checks and balances to ensure no one person has control over all parts of the financial transaction. 2. Reconcile agency bank accounts every month. 3. Restrict use of agency credit cards and verify all charges made to credit cards or accounts to ensure that they were business related. 4. Provide board of directors oversight of agency operations and management. 5. Prepare all fiscal policies and procedures in writing and obtain Board of Directors approval. 6. Ensure that agency assets such as vehicles, cell phones, equipment, and other agency resources are used only for official business. 7. Protect petty cash funds and other cash funds. 8. Protect checks against fraudulent use. 9. Protect cash and checks collections. 10. Avoid or discourage related party transactions. A note has been added on the release of the Accounting Standards Update, number 2016-14, Not-for-Profit Entities. Early adopters will now report the two classes of net assets on Schedule CFR 2A as follows. Net assets without donor restrictions reported in unrestricted columns. Net assets with donor restrictions reported in temporarily restricted columns. Effective for annual fi financial statements issued for fiscal years beginning after December 15, 2017 and for interim periods within the fiscal years beginning after December 15, 2018. All changes from year to year are detailed in the CFR Transmittal Letter, which is available on online at the website listed. It is important to be mindful of the changes listed in the Transmittal Letter when completing the CFR. Changes in funding source codes or program codes may require immediate corrections when carrying data forward from a prior version of the CFR software to the current version of the CFR software. Section 8 of the CFR Manual was revised as follows. A frequently asked question was added to provide guidance on whether the cost of food and beverages of the agency's employees and or board of directors is allowable on the CFR. Section 10 of the CFR Manual and Schedule CFRI was revised as follows. Contact information for an agency's president or chair of the board of directors will now be collected on a Schedule CFRI. Section 14 of the CFR Manual was revised as follows. CFR 2A, line 28A was revised to the aggregate of all supplemental items included in line 23. CFR 2A, line 28B was revised to the aggregate of all supplemental items included in line 27, total expenses and losses. Section 15 of the CFR Manual and Schedule CFR 3 was revised as follows. Line 6, line name audit slash legal was revised to audit, legal, and accounting. Line 38, additional guidance was added for reporting parent agency administration allocation. 
Section 19 of the CFR Manual and Schedule CFR 6 were revised. There are new reporting requirements for Section 3, Compensation of the Highest Paid Employees, as follows. Column 1, Name. List all employees reported under position title codes 601, 602, and 603, regardless of their total annualized salary and all employees that received a total annualized salary and contracted payment amount in excess of $125,000. Column 3, Amount Paid. Any severance pay should be included in this column. Column 8, Fringe Benefits. Any fringe benefits associated with severance pay reported in Column 3. Section 48, Appendix O of the CFR Manual has been updated with additional guidance on allowable depreciation. Section 53, Appendix T of the CFR Manual was revised as follows. The instructions for completing the Agency Administration Worksheet for abbreviated and mini abbreviated CFRs were revised. The instructions for completing the abbreviated, mini abbreviated, and Article 28 CFRs were updated. Section 2 of the CFR Manual was revised as follows. Revisions were made to the naming process for emailing PDF files of certification schedules and attestation statements to OASIS. OASIS has amended its financial statements requirement. OASIS only providers that are required to submit financial statements and have a gross revenue of less than $750,000 from all sources and all lines of business may submit a financial statement review instead of audited and certified financial statements. OASIS only providers that submit a full CFR and that are allowed to submit a financial statement review instead of audited and certified financial statements are not required to have the CFR II certified by an independent auditor. OASIS revised line instructions for reporting deficit funding on a DMH2 line 48, non-funded. Providers should report the program deficit or surplus. A program surplus is reported as a negative number. In Section 38, Appendix E, the following programs have had program titles, descriptions, and or units of service modified. OASIS requires that service providers report all programs operational during the fiscal reporting period on all OASIS specified schedules of their, of their CFR, including the claiming schedule DMH2. This requirement applies to any and all combinations of the following, funded certified programs, funded non-certified programs, unfunded certified programs, unfunded non-certified programs. Note, OASIS reserves the right to apply some or all of any surplus generated by providers funded and or unfunded programs against the deficits of one or more of the providers funded programs, thereby reducing total provider state aid approved for the fiscal reporting period. A CFR submission is not complete without the required audited financials and PAS 124 attached, or financial review depending on funding level. The PA PAS 124 is an additional attestation that non-allowable expenses were not included in the claim. A new CFRI III and PAS 124 is necessary each time a new DCN number is uploaded. This is a screenshot of the PAS 124.
Use the assigned program number or program reporting unit number as a site code in the New York State CFRS software. Match the units of service reported on a CFR to what is reported to the OASIS monthly service delivery system. Providers need to make more effort to submit all required documents in a timely manner. The following expenses from the CFR 1 cannot be claimed for state aid reimbursement. To properly report these expenses, include them fully on the CFR core and claiming documents. Then back them out on the claiming document as not allowable on the DMH 2 line 12. They include vacation leave accruals, depreciation expense such as vehicle, equipment, building, land improvements, etc. Interest expense, including mortgage, capital improvement, vehicle, capital indebtedness, DASNI, working capital, etc. Real estate taxes, unless required to be paid as part of a lease agreement. Mortgage expenses, unless prior approval received. And early retirement incentive payments, as well as severance pay. Further, a prorated share of the previously noted agency administrative expenses reported on the CFR 3 must also be backed out on the DMH 2 line 12 as not allowable. The prorated share is derived by step 1, dividing the program's total operating costs, CFR 1 line 64, by the total agency's operating costs, CFR 2 column 1, sum of rows 1, 2, 3, and 4. Step 2. Multiply the total of non-allowable expenses as reported in the CFR 3 for the program by the calculated percentage. Step 3. Report this amount on a DMH 2 line 12 for a specific program. A service provider operating a program type with more than one certified site must report each site separately by indexing the four-digit program code with a two-digit program code index consistent with the service provider's approved budget. For example, a provider operating three individually certified medically supervised outpatient clinics would report each clinic with the following program code and program code index 352001, 352002, 352003. OASIS service providers, except for OASIS supportive living programs, should report each program in a separate column cons consistent with their approved budgets. A service provider rendering non-certifiable program services such as outreach, community education, intervention, information, and referral that are incidental to or a, compon a component part of a certified chemical dependency program must include the cost of these services in that certified program. However, the units of service for the non-certifiable services are not included in the units of service reported for that certifiable program. For example, units of service and individuals served would reflect visits for a clinic, but not contacts for public education, information, and referral services. In other words, the costs associated with providing public education, information, and referral are legitimate and appropriate costs of doing business in the provision of clinic programs and should be included uniformly in determining their overall cost and the cost per unit of service for clinic programs. A service provider rendering non-certifiable services, for example, community education and intervention and referral, as independent program services that are not incidental to or a component part of the certified chemical dependency programs should report expenses and revenues for those programs in separate columns consistent with the service provider's approved budget. 
A service provider with a program in a development stage should report fiscal needs for pre-operational minor construction and renovation and operational phases in separate columns. Programs with major projects should not report such costs on a CFR. Separate applications and documents will be provided for such projects by the OASIS Capital Development Bureau. OASIS may require separate accountability for programs or parts thereof financed from special funding sources. This completes the CFR training for general changes and OASIS notables.